up to you. The Supreme Court finally grants puppets the same rights as any human being. Puppets are now a protected class, free from discrimination at work, church, and school. Especially those ivory tower universities that until now barred them from enrollment. But the puppet struggle is far from over. This is their story. God bless America. And may God save FPU. You were all invited to the Valentine's dance at BSU. Uh, thanks. Sorry. I'll be at Lori's tonight. Bound to go well, well. I thought you two were on the outs. Bound to go well, well. I got back on her good side by filling in for the fire eater who bailed at her niece's bat mitzvah. Bow, wow, bound to go well, well. Oh. You can eat fire? Um, no. But Lori felt so bad about my scorched esophagus, I got my Valentine's Day gift early. One scorched esophagus deserves another. Scorch, 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 exactly scorch. How much friction does your dong generate? Rub it hard enough and you'll earn a merit badge. Whoa! So, what exactly did she give you? Are we talking kinky or super kinky? It's a super kinky fanny pack! Whoa! Good morning, class. If you imbeciles would... Is that a fanny pack? I hate to disappoint our flourishing pervert community, but due to budget cuts, the Dean has canceled Mr. Rogers' armchair traveler child sex tour of Thailand. In its place, he has scheduled another degenerate guest speaker. <laughs> hey, Palm Rice. Right. Ah, ah, fuck, fuck! I knew I smelled burning felt. Jesus, Stuart, don't you know what a sock on the door means? Oh, okay, A, sock on the door is code for girl in the room, which is clearly not the case. It could have been. Uh, yeah. No. And B, there is no sock on the door. Just this door hanger ad. Who'd take a door sock? Anywho, I'll just collect my necessaries and let you have your little Valentine's Day gift to yourself. You wearing that all the time now? I'm Lori selling them on the internet and I'm helping her advertise. Plus, I need to look like I appreciate her art. Okay, on a scale of crappiest gifts ever, it ranks somewhere between the Trojan horse and John the Baptist's head. You've got to assert yourself, man. You know, Palm, I'd be more inclined to take your advice if your only intimate relationship wasn't with a box of tissue. Okay, if I can get a girl in my bed, you have to burn that abomination. Fine. If you can pull that off in the next... Four and a half hours, the fanny pack gets torched. Deal. Yeah, there's no way I'm shaking that hand. Up yours. Ugh. I'm a lefty! Mm. Sit down and listen hard, butt nuggets! Now, without further ado, I give you the world's foremost expert in the art of female seduction. Thank you for that accurate and well-deserved introduction, Mr. Rogers. You know what I see when I look out at this sea of frustrated, unkempt, pimply-faced, hopeless virgins? I see myself. Not the self you see before you. Not the stylish, confident, successful lady killer that has had sex with more than 800 women in more than 81 countries, including Vatican City. I see myself 10 years ago. 23-year-old loser. No charm, no charisma. V-card a mile wide taped to my forehead. But then, I developed the CLAP, the Calculated Lay Achievement Program. Breaks down the art of seduction into an objective formula. 
It transformed me into the man you see before you. And tonight, you lucky bastards, I'm gonna give you all the clap. Are we gonna be tested on this? You're going to apply these skills in a field test, so pay attention. For the next two hours, I'm going to upload the complete user's manual to the human female directly to your brains. Hey, Lori. Um, Find home, Nemo. Never give gifts. Never bring flowers. Never pay for dinner. Never open doors. Never say please. Never say thank you. Can we say you're welcome? Not unless you want to end up choking it alone. Supplication-oriented behaviors create a weak bargaining position. And women are not attracted to weak men. <laughs> You're right. Banjos are strong. Reverse psychology. The mind screw. Always do the exact opposite of what she expects. Be rude. Ignore her. Refuse simple requests. Disagree. Criticize. The less it seems like you'll sleep with her, the more she'll want you. Yeah, hey, uh, Lori, darling. Do you think there's any chance of me taking off the fanny pack before we go out? I mean, it's great and all. It just doesn't go well with my belt. What are you talking about? Rhinestones go with everything. Yeah, I just, I just don't want to stand out. Don't you like it? Don't you love me? How dare you be embarrassed? And rhinestones are making a comeback. I sold 49 bedazzled fanny packs on Etsy.com in the last week, Buster. That was me. That was all me. I bought all of your bedazzled crap to make you happy. I'll show you bedazzled crap. So endeth the lesson. The lab portion of the class will meet at Club Argyle, which unfortunately is 18 and up. And we'll commence in about 38 minutes. So, run home, get yourself a shiny shirt and some rib prophylactics, and I'll meet you there. Yeah. Uh, I had a question about the lesson on plumage. What if I don't have a shiny shirt? What's important is that you just wear something that attracts attention. The shiny shirt's just an example. You can use all kinds of things for plumage, like a, like a cummerbund, mm, or mm -mm. a bow tie, uh -uh. Uh, suspenders, uh -uh. hat, scarf, mm -mm -mm. something purple. Uh -uh. Okay, you and I are gonna raid your closet. Huh? Your roommate's got an endangered polo shirt breeding ground going on here. Wait, there's something shiny at the back. Just reach. Oh. We struck gold. Prepare to behold Uber plumage. Dub TF, Stu. Let's strap these bad boys on and get down to the BSU. Wait, what? Why are we going to the Baptist Student Union? Valentine's Day chastity dance, my friend. Wall to wall, born again virgins on the loneliest day of the year. They're gonna be feeling that old itch, and we are gonna scratch it like a rental car. I don't see room for the Holy Spirit between you two. <laughs> End of the line for you, Quirion. <laughs> oh, but I wasn't even dancing. Think I care, Skeeter? Damn, now I gotta reload. Skeeter isn't even a puppet. I really like your fanny packs. Okay, Tampa, let's talk to your friends about God and stuff. Come on. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Hey, newcomers gotta put their keys in the temptation bucket, Pinocchio. I thought this was a non-alcoholic event. Keep you chase the last hats from going to the parking lot and getting biblical. Pitch them in. I don't think I will. Disobedience. 
will be punished. I think you better keep these on your person. It'll keep us from having to go through the bucket later. Are you wearing a bra? Or do you just naturally defy gravity? Okay, you've made your point. Can we, can we just call it a draw and go to dinner now? Palmer, this is Carly. Carly, huh? <laughs> I once had a dog named Carly. A real leg humper. Does he have a girlfriend? Jesus was just there and he was present in all of us. It was the hottest prayer circle ever. I'm all out of punch, would you mind? Get it yourself. Punch hog. You're so fun. This is nice. Palmer, think you'd like to go out again sometime? Sure. I probably would if I weren't so busy and, um, you know, gay. Take me now. I live in the towers. Crap, I left my keys. No. Oh, thank God. Ugh. Can I borrow your key, man? Let yourself in, babe. I'll be there. Look, I'm gonna need the room tonight. Can you stay with Lori? <coughs> Carly, wait! Come back! You scared her off with your charred, bedazzled ass! What were you doing in my closet? Dr. Goodsnatch was helping me find plumage. Who's Dr. Goodsnatch and what was he doing in my closet? Nice Spider-Man sheets, man. <laughs> My bathrobe. My Spider-Man sheets. <laughs> so, there was a woman in my bed. The fanny pack got torched. So, who won our bet? <laughs> New bet. Whoever never speaks of this ever again, wins. Let's just pray for a tie, Stu. Amen. Tell me what to say, tell me what to do Tell me what it takes, baby, we're on top of you We can go from side to side, we can go around the back Tell me, tell me, baby, baby, I'm your only map I said stop, break Tell me what you did, tell me what you said Tell me what it takes, baby, to get you out my head We can go around the bend, you can sneak up from the roof Tell me, tell me, baby, baby, what you want to hear Is every word? You can kick me all around and yank me by the string. Tell me, baby, cause I wanna do that dirty thing. You can take me for a ride, take me to the wooden chair. Tell me what it takes me to be to get you out my head. Oh.